final play of the game, barring a penalty, all the time in the world for Beck. Can anybody get open for him? He'll roll right, lets it go, finds this guy, touchdown, Beck finds him, and it's a touchdown in BYU, swarms the field, they win it. BYU is coming off one of its best seasons in school history, going undefeated in the Mountain West Conference. Cougar fans should take comfort in the return of six offensive starters and seven defensive starters. But BYU did lose three key players, including Offensive Player of the Year, quarterback John Beck, and will have to look for Arizona State transfer Max Hall and running back Fui Vakapuna to put points on the board and lead the Cougars to a repeat title. Among those hoping to knock the Cougars off their throne will be the 2006 MWC runner-up, TCU. The Horned Frogs will rely on a defense that returns nine starters, including two Hendricks Award candidates, Tommy Blake and Chase Ortiz. Head coach Gary Patterson has put together four 10-win seasons in the past five years, and his Horned Frogs are true contenders for this year's conference title. However, this could just be the year of the Utes. The return of injured quarterback Brian Johnson will provide true excitement for Utah fans. Now 100% healed from season-ending knee surgery in 2005, Johnson looks to retake the reins of a Utah team that returns 10 offensive starters. Utah will use its experience to rebound from a good but inconsistent 2006. Wyoming starting quarterback Karsten Sween underwent off-season knee surgery as well, but hopes to be 100% by August. Sween and the Cowboys look to build on last year's 6-6 six six record that included four straight heartbreaking losses by a touchdown or less, including two in overtime. Joe Glenn's Cowboys rebounded late in the season and are ready to take a run at the top spot in the MWC. New Mexico went 4-4 four four in conference last year, but hopes to climb to the top tier this season. 17 starters return to try and give the Lobos their first bowl win since 1961. If sophomore quarterback Donovan Porter can live up to the hype, and New Mexico can get behind big-time running back Rodney Ferguson, the Lobos could be this conference's biggest surprise. After 23 seasons under head coach Fisher DeBerry and three straight losing campaigns, the Air Force Falcons are turning over a new leaf under new leadership. First-time head coach Troy Calhoun will look to improve the Falcons' offense and will get help from senior quarterback Sean Carney. With Air Force's solid running game, a veteran QB, and a fresh head coach, the Falcons have a good shot at being bowl bound It's been eight years without a winning season for San Diego State. Head coach Chuck Long will look to end the Aztecs' misery in his sophomore season. Senior running back Lionel Hamilton is one of the best in the league and should cause major problems for opposing defenses. Colorado State fans have begun to lose patience in Fort Collins, but head coach Sonny Lubick looks to reward the faithful this season. The Rams are rejoined by junior running back Kyle Bell, who was out last year with a torn ACL. Bell will have an immediate impact on the Rams' offense and will team with senior quarterback Caleb Haney to make State a competitor. Rounding out the Mountain West is UNLV, with senior quarterback Rocky Hines having a year under his belt. The Rebels could be poised for immediate success. Hines will have his top target, sophomore Ryan Wolf back for some much-needed chemistry as the Rebels try and put together a winning season under head coach Mike Sanford.